All right, you guys, we got about 16,000 people who are joining us right now. And, and uh, boy, can you just picture, picture, do you know how many 16,000 people is? That's pretty exciting. I, I've been in some big crowds before, but uh, 16,000 of us, uh, you know, I, I picture all of us around a real big bonfire on the beaches in California someday. And I think that would be awesome. Praising God, praying to the God of heaven and earth. Or maybe in, out in the desert somewhere in, in, uh, in Arizona. Or maybe we're out in a field in Texas somewhere around a giant campfire and we're calling down revival from heaven. Wouldn't that be awesome? Hey, listen, um, before I forget, something came in the mail that I think you guys might like. Check out this sweatshirt. Look at this, I'm gonna get up close. What's that say? What's your plan? <laughs> What's your plan? I made these because you and I have a plan. Most people don't have a plan, right? They're, 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 they're saying, what's the plan? What's the plan? We don't know what's the plan. And I got this as a conversation starter so that I can go to the grocery store and people say, hey, what's that all about? And I got this as a conversation starter for you. So my wife and my kids, we, we, we got together. We said, how can we help people get into conversations? Well, we came up with this idea, a sweatshirt that says, it's a great hoodie. It says, uh, what's your plan? And here's what you say when people ask you. If, if, uh, if, if you have something like this, you just say, well, you know, every time a president comes into, uh, into, into, their, into their office, they have a 100 day plan for the nation. And uh, instead of putting my hope in what the president is gonna do in the first 100 days, I'm coming up with my own 100 day plan. And you could say that, uh, you know, a whole bunch of us have a 100 day plan to get around a campfire that uh, Kirk and the family of faith uh, are making in, in Kirk's backyard. And we're gonna be talking about all the things that made America the greatest nation on earth. We're gonna pray, we're gonna praise and worship God around a campfire for 100 days. And we're gonna ask God to heal our land and we're gonna see what happens, rather than just waiting for somebody else's 100-day plan to fix stuff. I'm excited. Now, I haven't worn this out in public yet, but I'm planning to uh, tomorrow. They just came in the mail today. I just opened, I ripped open the package. I was so excited. Hey, if you want one of these, I would suggest you could make one yourself. It's easy. There's a couple of companies that do that. I looked at Bonfire and Printful. You can just go on and Shopify, whatever. Make up your own t-shirt. You Make your own hoodie up. If you want this one, uh, it's super easy. I've got it for you on my website. Just go to KirkCameron.com and uh, you're gonna see it there tomorrow. I just got it today. I don't have it up on the website yet, but it'll be there tomorrow if you want one and it comes in every color. You can get it in pink, you can get it in green, you can get it in black, you can get it in gray, you can get it in any color, any size. I think it's gonna be cool, because here's the goal. The goal is we want other people to gather around the campfire, right? We want others to catch the fire of revival and we wanna see that revival first revive individuals in their own heart. I wanna be revived. You wanna be revived. You wanna, you wanna be released from the prison of fear and you want to be fueled by faith. That's what we're doing. We want our homes to be revived, our marriages, our communities, our churches, our schools, our businesses, and our nation. So, oh, and check it out. And then and they say, oh, what's this? You got a name for this plan? Yeah, I do. It's called, check this out. You put the hoodie up. Look what it says on the back. American Campfire Revival. Do you see it? I can't see if you see it, but I, I hope you see it. Anyway, uh, I hope you like it. I made it for you guys. And I want you to comment and tell me what kind of conversations you got in at, uh, at Target, in the grocery store, whatever. Okay, so we're continuing to go through the American Covenant, the untold story. And uh, we've been talking about liberty. We've been talking about freedom and, and what it takes to produce freedom and how God is, has been on a mission to bring freedom to mankind since the very beginning with Adam and Eve and went through Adam, Noah, and Abraham. We talked about the Roman Empire and the, and the Greek Empire. And we talked about how God values individual people, not just you being one little cog in a machine and all that matters is the way that godless people 
value, uh, uh, view man, which is just, you're just one little thread on the fabric, and if you go away or you die, it doesn't really matter anyway. The evolutionary worldview says you're just an evolved, overarching er, uh, worm that climbed up out of the, out of the, the, the soup, and, and if, you, if you get extinguished, that doesn't really matter. Uh, everything still goes on as though you were never even really here. God doesn't see you that way. He doesn't see me that way. He doesn't see our family that way. And when we are families on mission to accomplish God's purposes, we can change the world. That's what we're talking about. And we're talking about the covenant, that sacred promise that our forefathers made with God, believing that if we would honor the Lord, he will protect us and bless us to a thousand generations and our children will experience freedom. So, in the lesson that I've been uh, reading and studying today in the American Covenant, we're coming to this, this, this concept of internal liberty and external freedom. We touched on it yesterday, but, but here's the concept, and I've really been, been, been digging down and, and meditating on this today. The, o- the secret to a free country and by the way, you know, I'm reading articles in, in the news and people are sending me stuff like so-and-so just got censored, so-and-so just got banned, so-and-so just got canceled, so-and-so just got deleted, so-and-so just got, got uh, removed, and they can't speak anymore. And it seems like if you're, if you're not woke enough, you don't have the freedom to even speak anymore. So I, I, I don't want to get deep into that, but, but I do want to say that you and I want the freedom to speak, the freedom to think, the freedom to worship God according to the dictates of our conscience. We want our children to grow up understanding the blessing of liberty. What's the secret to it? Well, the secret to a free nation is having the people experience liberty in their own heart. This is the message that Jesus came to bring. Jesus came to set the captives free. And we talked last night about the story about how a shepherd who has 100 sheep and one gets lost, he leaves the 99 and goes after the one because he values the individual. Not just the mass, but the individual uniquely cares for that one that he created. And that's how he cares about you and me as well. And the way to have a free nation is to have people who are individually set free in their heart from their own demons and snakes in their head and 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 devils in their heart that caused them to be selfish and prideful and want to take advantage of other people and be all about themselves once we're set free from that now i'm free to love my wife now i'm free to parent my children where it's not all about what they do for me but about what they need me to do for them. It's now not about what can God give me, but what, how can I give my life to serve God? Once I'm free in, in an individual way and you're free, we now begin to set the stage for an entire nation to be free in its forms of government, in its economy, in the way that we teach our children. And we're not gonna be a government uh, that is canceling and deleting and censoring and shutting down and taking away from citizens and individuals because we've been set free internally. Gotta make sure we're okay. So, So that's the key that Jesus revealed when he came is that the secret to to external national liberty. If we want to be a country that remains free, we, it starts with freedom in my heart to love God with all my heart, mind, and soul and to love my neighbor because I'm no longer trapped in the prison of me and it's all about me and it's what I want and how I feel and my rights. No, I was set free from that prison. And now I'm free to love my neighbor and consider my neighbor more important than myself. And I want to honor God. And I'm here to serve him and his purposes. And that results in blessing for everybody. Second concept in the the study here for day 22 is this idea that there is a great big difference between Christian individuality and, and godless individualism. So God loves the individual. We've been talking about that. And what that means is 
You are uniquely valued by God for who you are. You don't need to look like anybody else. You don't need to sound like anybody else. You don't need to have the money of anybody else or have the talent of anybody else. God made you unique for your own particular purpose. And when you understand your gifts and your talents and you submit yourself to God personally, God will use you in a unique way to bring blessing to the world, to bring heaven to earth. That's Christian individuality. You're not just a cookie cutter sample like everybody else, an anonymous grain of sand in the desert. That's not you, you're unique. But that is not the same as godless individualism, which is what a lot of people are into today. Because they don't know God, they think, it's all about me. I'm an individual. It's all about what I want, what I think, what I feel. It's my body. It's my choice. It's nobody controls me. It doesn't matter about anybody else because I'm the goat. You're not the goat. He's the goat. I'm not the goat. You're not the goat. All right. For, for those who are wondering what the goat is, greatest of all time. That's the acronym for greatest of all time. Godless individualism, down with that, up with Christian individuality. It's not all about me. It's not all about you. It's all about the God of heaven who made us so uniquely and values you the way he designed you that you can serve your neighbor and you can honor God uniquely with your gifts and talents in the unique place he's placed you in your world, at your school, in your home, in your workplace, and in your nation. And God sees it and he values it and it counts and it matters. Not the same as someone who thinks this world revolves around me and I get to make the rules. No, you don't. The Almighty makes the rules and he has two rules, two laws, two commands. We don't need 52 executive orders in the first three weeks to fix everything. We've already been given two executive orders from on high. Love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. If we can be set free to do that as individuals, we don't need any other orders. That covers it all. It sets us free in our hearts, in our homes, in our churches, in our schools. And it sets us free as a nation. And maybe we could be that nation that helps to set the whole world free. And it starts with you. It starts with me. And it starts with having a plan. I want to try to keep this uh, brief tonight and not go over the 15-minute uh, marker, which uh, i got to trim it down for, for Instagram. So uh, thank you for joining us again. The whole point is we want this campfire to, uh, to spread we want the fires of revival to spread from us to our neighbors. We want it to be like a, like a grass fire that just moves across the entire nation. If your heart and your home catches the fire of revival, people will notice. Let them know that you got a plan. You're not planless. You're not hopeless. You're faithful and you're confident that God is up to, to something important. Well, look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night for day 23. And uh, again, if you're, uh, if you're interested in getting one of, these, one of these hoodies, tomorrow they'll be available. They're not available yet. God bless you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.